Hi AG, I am Nicole Scherzinger and welcome to my house. <laughs> I've been living in this house for not even two years now. I bought this house because when I walked in it, I saw this beautiful view because I wanted a house with a view overlooking Los Angeles. But when I bought it, there was a huge wall here and there was a little tiny sliding door there and a window over here. And I wanted people to be able to see the view as soon as they walked in. So I opened everything up so that it just feels like a big, nice open living area. My house is split into four levels, but this is primarily my main level. When I took down that wall, I needed storage space, so I built all of the storage over here. I'm very particular about woods and grains of woods and stains of woods, so I made sure to get this exactly right how I wanted it, and I'm very particular about marbles. This is a particular Calcutta. It kind of looked like a hummingbird when I found it, and I put a massive island in. I knew that I wanted another elevated piece of wood here for the island to add another texture. The chairs are essential. They swivel and they're soft leather. Ski ska. When you're entertaining or you're having dinner, you can enjoy the view and your friends. So it's a big fun area. I really love this piece. This is a charred big maple leaf wood, one whole slab with anodized X's, bronze detail. And I designed this with Uhuru, one of my favorite companies out of Brooklyn. I love it because you can see all the movement and the grains of the wood. And I know that live edge is pretty cool, but I wanted to make it a little bit more modern. So I kept the natural live edge, but then I wanted to make the ends square and clean. It's nice and thick and it's hella heavy. And it's just a stunning piece that I love. Uhuru, shout out, hello. I love art and I love collaborating with artists. So a lot of the artwork in my house is actually commissioned artwork. <laughs> As another artist and a slight control freak, I'm like, let's build something together. But this particular piece is my favorite piece. It's a pretty classic retina. If you look at the detail, there's actually a slice through the painting. I contacted him and I said, what happened? And it's beautiful because his mother actually sewed it together. So I just love it. And it kind of represents how moms always put things back together. And I know my mom is my everything. And it just is the pride of place artwork of the home. This is my den. And this is probably my favorite room in the house because it's so cozy. These couches, you could just sink into them forever. This is where I chill out and relax and hang out with my girls or my family and just talk and drink wine and watch the sunset because the view is amazing. When I built this den, I wanted to make sure I had bookshelves because I feel like bookshelves just add so much um, more warmth to the room. I mean, obviously you've got to have books and you have pictures, but on the very top shelf up there, it's a reflection of my heritage. It's actually my mother's uli ulis, the red feather ones. They're, I don't know, like Hawaiian maracas that you dance with and do Tahitian with. And then you have an ipu, a Hawaiian instrument made out of dried squash that you pound on the ground and make a beat and a rhythm. I love this room because I wanted it to feel just very warm and inviting and cozy. When it's cold, I put on the fire and open the pocket doors, watch the sunset, and I have wine. I think it's really special. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm an extremely private person, but you guys are gonna get a sneak peek into my bedroom, so come on up. Before we go into my bedroom, we're gonna make a pit stop. This is obviously where my piano is. I chose this because I'm really up high here and has a beautiful view, and obviously I love music. It's my everything. This is just a really great place to play piano, play around with ideas, and to sing and prepare my material and, and songs and to just let go. This actually, is so weird because I never see this, <laughs> is um, a big part of who I am. Whitney Houston was my idol growing up and this album changed my life. It's the reason why I sing. 
So just off the piano room is my bedroom. I have like three different comforters on my bed because I get very cold at night <laughs> and kind of have a problem sleeping sometimes. Weighted blankets on you help you to sleep. It makes you feel like you're in the womb. Kind of weird fact. Maybe that'll help someone out there. I actually grew up in a really small house, so I feel the most comfortable sleeping in small bedrooms and small spaces. So I wanted it to feel like a nook and just really cozy. And there's nooks on either sides with outlets and stuff to charge your phone. I wanted my headboard really tall and dramatic. And this is one of my favorite colors. I feel like it's such a rich, beautiful color. And that's made of vintage velvet. And I loved keeping things really modern and classic and clean, but then adding a touch of the tuft nails on the edge so it still feels like warm and a bit traditional. There is a kind of a running theme within my house with um, grays, organic neutrals, keeping things really clean or having a little bit of contrast like my fireplace right here. This is a special marble that I found and I just love the subtle movement within the marble. Probably the best part about my bedroom is this big old fat, juicy, yummy balcony. I feel literally like I'm on top of the world. When people come over, they say the higher you are up on the hills, the closer you are to heaven. So I feel like I'm up in the clouds up here. This is my bathroom. I wanted it very white and clean. I put in Calcutta marble floors. My tub, it's great, it's nice and big. I open up my doors at night. The whole city twinkles, I feel the breeze. I pretty much live in here. It's my marble steam shower. I love, love, love steam showers. They make me really happy and they're good for my voice when I'm getting my voice all warmed up, ready to sign. I decided that I needed one area to wash my face, skincare, all that jazz. Then I needed another area where I could just sit down, do my face and my hair. So that's where you come over here and it's a full glam area. It's awesome. Plus I, I'm too lazy, I gotta sit down, do my makeup and hair. This is my theater. I designed it to just be like a little hidden cave. It's just such a great place for my family and friends to just go and hide away. When you're watching movies, lights are out. So we have little theater lights so you can see where you're going. I don't really like theater chairs. I'm like, if you're home and you're watching movies, who wants to be in a chair even if it reclines? Why not be in like a big sofa bed? So every single tier has a big sofa bed. And for all you long humans out there, all of my couches I've designed to be seven feet deep so you can fully get all up in here and just like, so in this theater, I actually have movies that I've either done, been a part of, or movies that inspire me. I've done Men in Black 3. I die really early in the beginning. So if you go to the bathroom or you sneeze, then you'll miss me. I've done Dirty Dancing, I've done Moana. What's up, you looking at Moana's mom scene over here? Purple Rain inspires me so much. These are either musicals I've either been a part of or I'm a fan of. And everyone who comes into this theater, I make them run and jump up here and just sink. And then it's like, it's just so good. This room is like a big old hug, <laughs> like a big old cave hug. This is one of my guest rooms and I love this bed in particular. This bed is actually called a cloud bed. I laced it with some Italian linen. A lot of times when you go to other people's homes and if you're staying there, sometimes you like knock your shin and stuff on the <laughs> wooden beds, but this bed is actually really soft. As you could tell, I wanted it very monochromatic and to keep it really simple and clean and... All of my balconies pocket the house, so every room actually has a view and has its own unique view of Los Angeles. On a clear day, you can see all the way from downtown to the beach. This is my plaque wall. It's a bit hidden. Not many people see this area of my house. I do have it up because it does make me appreciate some of the accomplishments. A lot of people know me for the dolls and I loved my time with the girls and especially the touring around the world. But a lot of people who do know me know that I'm such a theater nerd. I love theater. I, I, I go to the theater anytime I can. I love musical theater. 
And probably one of the things I'm the most proud of is actually when um, I played Grizabella in Cats at the London Palladium. Yeah, one of my proudest moments. I don't use that word very often, proud, but it was a very proud moment. And I was casually nominated for an Olivier. <laughs> This is my indoor outdoor lounge. I designed this space for entertainment. I'm not home very often, but when I am home, I like to stay home <laughs> and have a few friends over and barbecue. I always want everything in my house to be very clean and chic, but at the same time, I wanted everything to be really comfy. This is just a really great area to sink in and watch movies at night as you gaze at the city. As I mentioned, I'm all about comfort so that's why I created these custom made lounges kind of like lounge beds because I like to sprawl out when I'm laying out and hanging out with my girlfriends and over here we are featuring the world's smallest pool Ta -da! <laughs> I live on a hill as you can see so I went to the ends of the earth just to create this little baby okay it's actually six feet deep it's salt water it heats up to 100 degrees on a hot day you can dip in and at night it's nice to get in and it's like a glorified jacuzzi okay no Jersey house is complete without a swing. I knew building this house, I had to put a swing somewhere, and what better place with this view outside with my baby pool. This is my happy place, and it's where I just swing all my cares away, literally, all above Los Angeles, the city of angels. All right, AD, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the tour, but I'm about to have a screening party for my premiere, so you gotta get on out of here. Bye. <laughs>